Oh, hello again. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, so yeah, this is kind of an outro video. I wanted to make one last video because this Sunday, uh, this car might be gone. <laughs> um, after getting back from Miyaz the Gap, I kind of decided I wanted to go in a different direction. Uh, I've absolutely loved this car. It's been a great project to have, and I've done so much with it, but that's a thing, man. I've done a lot of projects this car, and honestly, it's, uh, unlike the NA, I think this is a good point of where it's done. I mean, sure, there are plenty of other things that can go with it, superchargers, force induction, you know, performance mods and shit, but, uh, well, I don't know. I got to thinking, and basically, I wanted a fun car with a uh, back seat. You know, uh, I've been going these meets, a bunch of car meets, and I, I would like to bring my son. I like to bring a little man with me to these meets, and uh, obviously, I can't do that in the Miata. You know, I have to have the wife drive separately if they're going to come, and it's just kind of been a pain in the ass. So, um, yeah, by the time you're watching this, I might have a new car already, and <laughs> this will not be in my garage, and that's crazy. Uh, you know, I've I've pretty much only had Miatas for, uh, you know, close to 15 years now, which is kind of crazy. I've got the Durango and uh, the Lexus and things, but uh, yeah, this has been the project car. So, uh, yeah, jumping on into this video, I wanted to do a quick wrap up of all the projects that I've done and all the different things I've done with this car and kind of just give a final review of a modified 2017 RF Miata. Should you get one? Should you not get one? Um, it really just uh, put together a little time capsule of everything I've done with this project and uh, something to look back on years from now, I suppose. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. So, let's start with the back here. I would honestly say the most proud project I've worked on with this car would obviously have to be the wing. It was one of the first real fabrication, like metal fab jobs that I've ever really worked on on a car. Um, so I made the brackets for it. Uh, so basically this was a FRS wing, uh, a SARD FRS wing uh, for a BRZ that I was able to basically make extended brackets for to fit on the ND Miata. It simply clamps onto the under trunk lid so you don't have to drill any holes or like that. And, uh, and I was able to make it uh, clear the RF top with some lowered stands as well. Uh, really cool freaking mod. I still sell the brackets. I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. Um, yeah, pretty gnarly. Uh, while back here, I've also added, basically uh, there was a, oh, a little LED strip. I've seen MX-5 things sell them as well as a couple other sources that uh, just sticks to the bottom of your trunk and you basically wrap it, uh, route the, the wiring underneath your trunk to the back spacing here. And it's more of a plug and play if anything, but, uh, basically that you will light up this section here when your lights are on, uh, pretty gnarly. All right. So obviously, uh, I think one of the coolest things about the RF Miata, the ND Miata with the RF retractable hard top is of course the top. <laughs> uh, MX-5 things came out with this great uh, controller that basically if you hit um, your key fob three times it will initiate the top and put the top down for you. So let's take a look. So basically you'll hit this three times and you'll see the taillights will start blinking, you'll start powering up, initializing the process and... Eh? <laughs> just a cool little thing that you can add. Uh, this top feature is from mx5things.com. Uh, and it's such a cool little thing. That's it. You know, if you're walking out from the grocery store or whatever, you hit that, it does the top thing. Gnarly. But yeah, retractable hardtop. Obviously, just such a gorgeous, classic look that this brings. Oh, man. I do enjoy this car. So let's take a look at the interior, shall we? So here's my interior. Uh, one of the first things you might notice would either be of a uh, carbon Miata steering wheel or the oh uh, the shifter well from Craven Speed. Um, I did a full video on the installation of their short shift kit as well as this shift well. 
Um, such a cool, unique piece. Um, I've got the little shifter pattern I picked up through RevLimiter.net. Uh, just a nice little uh, retro touch I've added to that. Um, you might also see there's an analog clock inside. This was a prototype unit from MX-5 things that when the car is off, would display an analog clock. Uh, a neat little feature, it does a couple of things, and I also did another video featuring that. But uh, a couple more things that it does, basically uh, it will display a digital speedo uh, gauge, a speedometer, while you're driving, which is pretty gnarly. It also gives you the option of adding one additional uh, temperature input, uh, which I never got around to. I really wish I could have, but uh, perhaps in the future the next owner might do so. Uh, other things added to the car, of course, are the Carbon Miata quilted um, interior liners, uh, in quilted carpeting. Just a nice little touch that they offer. It's all one piece for both sides, so, you know, two piece, but fit in there so well. Adds such a nice touch that red stitching and black leather really matches the interior well. But absolutely love the interior of this car. I love how by stock, they basically they, they paint matched the door cells to the body color. And of course I wrapped that same matching teals outside. But yeah, let's continue on. All right, so let's wrap this up before I start getting sad and mopey that this beautiful car is leaving me <laughs> and I decided to change my mind. I uh, took it to one last show today, went out to uh, Channel Side Cars and Coffee. Uh, I think it's the second meet they've ever done, but I uh, took it out, went cruising with a bunch of friends, uh, did a nice little photo shoot afterwards, and I plan on posting some of those pictures up later, but... Uh, Definitely has some good times in this car, you know, in the short time that I've owned it, and uh, I don't know, I, I can't stop thinking about the next step, man. Uh, uh, basically, the, the guy I traded in the car is coming tomorrow morning. It's all set. Uh, I just got this one all cleaned up and ready to go. <laughs> oh, man. So what do y'all think the, the new car is going to be, huh? Uh, let me know in the comments. Shoot, your, shoot a guess. I, I honestly bet no one's going to guess it unless you already know. <laughs> um, shoot, I mean, hell, like, it could be a, a complete clapper and I could hate it and not want to do it. We will, uh, we will see. Honestly, I'm, I'm pretty hyped. But uh, yeah, as you can see... Done, done a lot of great things with this car, and I just, I think I can honestly say it is done. Uh, you know, I could keep going on it for another 10 years like I did to the NA and just be a never-ending project and dump ridiculous amounts of money into it and effort and time, but, uh, well, until tomorrow morning when I see if this is uh, still in my possession or not. Uh, if so, I'm probably going to remove the livery and... Uh, do something a little different with it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So, uh, until next time, my name's Scott. I run Spinny Woosh. Uh, I've got plenty more graphic videos for you on the way. Uh, until next time. <laughs>